What's up, guys? We're here bringing you a video today. Me doing some leveling on my DK. Um, you might be wondering, Pips, why the fuck are you doing so much leveling recently? Why are you getting so many max level characters? That's mainly because all my max level characters currently are not sitting very well as far as PvP is concerned. Hunters aren't too bad. Uh, with the right combination, they can be uh, fairly good in twos. But uh, other than that, they're not very fun to play, even though they're not too bad. So I'm kind of like off of my hunt right now. And then of course I have the Healing Priest, which I made for PvE purposes. But then of course PvE didn't grasp me very well. And then of course then I made the uh, Rogue, which I leveled up with Suki. And the Rogue is actually really fun, but at the same time, it's not the kind of playstyle that I like. Uh, it's fun to get on and play the Rogue when I haven't played him for a while, but it's not something I can sit down and play for a long time like I used to be able to do on my Hunter. And then I made the Warrior. Now the Warrior is probably the funnest thing I've played in a very long time. And especially if I'm running with a healer. The issue is, if I don't run with a healer and I'm currently playing a Warrior, it means I'm going to have a bad time. Especially if I'm doing 2s, especially if I'm doing 3s. I can't do my patented fucking just top tier fucking just triple deeps or double deeps 2v2 which I like to do. If you guys aren't aware, I like to do double deeps 2v2, that's what I like to do. Unfortunately, these days in World of Warcraft, you need to have off heals to be able to compete in that sort of situation. Now, I don't even like off heals, I wish they were in the fucking game, but it's not something I can complain about because it's just something that apparently is going to be a part of the game for the rest of its goddamn lifespan. So, instead of complaining, I'm just going to go with the flow, and I found Peet, which is a level 86 DK. How I, is it just, is it this one? Or, oh, is this one over here? I'm trying to the wrong side fucking barricade. Peet was a level 85 when I found him. I started leveling him, and to be honest with you, I did actually really like the playstyle of DKs. I still don't. I don't really like the playstyle. It's very simplicit. It's kind of... It's kind of like, let's play WoW for scrubs, at least right now. It seems to me like, I have so many, like, I have, I have the same amount of abilities as everyone else, but it's just like, I press the thing that lights up. And, like, it's just, I have so much utility and so much, like, it's just, e it's just easy. I feel like I'm playing a Red Paladin again, pretty much. Like, I used to play DK, and I didn't like it because I didn't understand the rune system. I didn't really know how to get into it. I was just confused in general. And that's why I didn't like it, which wasn't a bad thing. I had nothing against the class. I was just literally too stupid to kind of grasp it and didn't want to put time into learning a class I couldn't understand. And as of WAD hits, I get on my DK again, and it's like, instead of having to grasp something that I don't understand, I just hit the thing that lights up. And everything dies, and I'm OP as fuck. I've done a BG on this guy, and wrecked everybody's fucking life. I haven't died, I got cooldowns that are OP. Of course, I got the healing stuff, I got conversion, which is like... The amount of healing I can produce as a fucking melee character is... It baffles my fucking mind. I'm skip this one, guys, because if I don't skip that, I'm gonna get fucking copyright flagged by Blizzard. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just absolutely rough for me to have to deal with that kind of stuff. Especially since, like... I, I, I don't like playing something that's overpowered. I don't like doing it. But, I thought, since I'm not having a fun time at max level right now, I may as well try and get everything to max. What's my highest level character? Of course, it's the DK. Now, I shouldn't say I'm not having fun on him. You know, I'm having as much fun as you can on something that just absolutely destroys. Because that's, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm just going around destroying shit. And, um, it's just, like... You guys understand, like, sometimes you have a lot of fun when you just go in and you wreck people. But I'd rather wreck people knowing that it was skill-based and not class-based. But yeah, there's, not, there's not much you can do about that right now on WoW. It seems like, uh, since Halink Halinka, is that how you say his name? Wherever the new PvP dev is, they just going into WoW, has become the most hated dev. And I almost want to say it's not for good reason, but unfortunately, it seems to be for good reason. Like, there just seems to be hardly any balance going on right now. I'm hoping the 6.1 patch, when it comes out, will fix most of that stuff. But unfortunately, uh, I don't know if it will, and I haven't really seen much in the ways of fixes. Um, there's a few classes that are completely obviously broken, and I think universally hated because they're broken, except by the people that play them, uh, which are usually, you know, 13 year olds that either played, they like rolled them because they wanted to be OP, or they're just the people who've been playing them since 1993 and didn't want to change classes just because they're OP. Like, why would you? I mean, you'd just be enjoying it. I mean, I'd do the same thing. If Hunters became extremely overpowered, I would still keep playing Hunters because I love Hunters. But, um, it's just a thing where I hate when I see people re-roll for the sake of re-rolling something overpowered. And I wanted to do, go through that at the start of this video to let you guys know that's not what I'm doing. I'm not rolling a, a Hunter, I mean a, a fucking Hunter, wow. I'm not rolling a DK because I want to be overpowered or something like that. I'm simply doing it because I'm not having that much fun at max level right now. I still want to play WoW, I still enjoy the game, I still enjoy like the stupid shit like getting gold and farming and getting transmogs and stuff like that. Some of the most fun I've had recently was getting my warrior some cool fucking... Uh, transmog from uh, Firelands, 
which I got surprisingly got in about two weeks. Well, not even like I got it in two days, but it was like I did it, and then they reset the next day, and then I did it again, and I had all my shit I needed. Which is the first time I've gotten that lucky on any transponder I've ever tried to get ever. Like it's usually, it usually takes a long fucking time, but luckily for me, I got it like immediately. I love how death gripping those doesn't fucking pull for some reason. I don't understand how it's working, but I'm fucking OP about it. I'm, I'm Jesus. I can just pull stuff without aggroing. Is rank one, and I'm not too sure how to spec this guy. I've gone completely right sided. I honestly have no idea like what uh, what the spec to go is. Um, but I don't think it really matters as far as leveling is. Do I even have a six on the bars? I do. I do. It's right there. I have so many interrupts and slows. Good lord. The amount of like lockdown I have. I also have a blood spec. Maybe I should tank some some dungeons or something like that. I don't know. I can I can try and tank. I've been I've been DK tank since since I leveled one from like BC. Uh, not BC. Like I mean through BC to uh, Wrath. Once I got to Wrath, I stopped um I stopped tanking. I just never. I don't think I'm a very good tank. It's not because I'm bad at tanking. I just rush. The amount of times I wipe in a in a dungeon because I'm just rushing through, and if the people don't keep up, I still don't stop. It's it's it all stemmed from back when I played a um a feral druid. I used to play a feral druid in BC. I leveled his feral. I played his feral at max until I switched it to resto, and that's how I actually got into arenas was playing as a resto druid. But before that, I played PVE and I was a as a tank druid. And when I tanked on my druid. I got engineering and got rocket boots, and I would just rocket boots, run, sprint in cat form, change to bear once I got the mobs, and tank them. And I would pull mobs like that consecutively, not like just non stop. I'd just be running the entire instance. I played with a friend of mine back then called McLovin. I think he DPS or healed for me, and he off healed as well. And I had other people that played with me. They were really good at the game and like could handle me tanking like that. And because they could handle it, when I didn't do but like dungeons with them, I would still just do that. I would still run through. It's, it's almost like a habit thing, where I just I didn't want to slow down. I didn't want to stop. Once getting that kind of speed and that rhythm of doing a dungeon, you really don't want to slow down. So naturally, I run through the fucking entire instance. I still do it to this day, even when I'm on like a level 15 paladin. I'm gonna run through the fucking instance like that's and even more so now on low levels because I feel extremely overpowered on low levels with BOA gear. So I'm just running through the fucking world, getting shit done, and all of a sudden it's like the healer is 17 miles away from me, and I'm going to die if I don't receive a heal in the next, like, five seconds. So it's just kind of rough. Also, I something I wanted to go over that I want to kind of talk to you guys about and see if you agree with me. Um, it's kind of back on the overpowered things, but I've actually been kind of... And I don't want to, like, get your hopes up or something if it's something you want to see, because I'm very... I'm very on the fence about this. I don't even know if it's something I want to do. I don't know if it's something you'd be interested in. I'm pretty sure the masses of the people who play WoW wouldn't be interested. I'm sure if I made videos on this, it wouldn't get as many views. But it's just something I might be interested in doing. And that's finding a private server that has rolled back to either vanilla or BC. And playing and fucking around. Or just like having a max level character on that. And like kind of reminiscing and going down memory lane on that. Or trying to find some some good ways to play on those private servers or just, just having some fun you know a lot of people didn't actually see vanilla or didn't see bc and i don't I, the thing is i do i know nothing i know nothing about private servers i know nothing about how to even get them to work I, i'm not sure if i have to change my game client or some shit or if i have to download something i'm, I'm very spooked of downloading uh stuff that isn't like something i'm used to so i'd be very uh worried about that doing like many virus checks and shit like that um but i, I just don't know if you guys would be interested in that i, I want i was thinking about making videos and being like you know, making like a Thursday throwback or whatever the fuck that bullshit people call it is. But instead of doing like stupid pictures of my face back when I was a child, I make uh, vanilla or BC videos. Um, because it's, it's, I can't really do it as of like right now in WoW because I can't just make a character, have it at, like capped at level 70 and then try and go do the fucking, try and go do the level 70 raids. I don't know if there's many uh, guilds that like do that stuff where they get to a old cap and then they just wait it out and do raids and get geared and all that kind of, I have no idea if they do that, but they, they might, but I, I, if they do, I don't know if they exist and I don't know what realm they exist on. If that is a thing, I don't even need a private server. I could just go roll on that realm, get a level 70 character, join that guild, start raiding with them, you know. I, w I would love to go and like raid BC, you know what I mean? I would like just, just, just do something, do, do Black Temple, do Tempest Keep, just... Just go walk down every lane, because I actually physically remember doing Tempest Keep and stuff like that. And I, I actually remember having a lot of fun in Tempest Keep. I remember wiping on fucking KT shitloads of times, because... Not KT, sorry, TK. His name's... 
What's his name? The last boss of fucking Tempest Keep? I can't. Kelth, Kelthos, right? Kelthos? What the fuck his name is? Um, I wiped out him so much because there's this one fucking warlock dude that always. I, I, I swear it's always warlocks. I think Suki's told me a story like this before, and the same thing was like, it was some fucking warlock. They always goofed up and stood in the wrong spot, or he'd get really confused and pick up the wrong weapons, or just do something really retarded. And each time, my vent or Skype call would just erupt in, like, hatred towards this guy. And then, like, we'd wipe because, number one, he goofed up and, like, did something completely wrong. And then on top of that, the white, the raid and everyone's just too busy, like, talking shit to this guy to actually focus on the raid anymore. Um, no one actually hated him, obviously. That, that's, that, that was part of the joy of raiding back then, was the stupid fucking Skype conversations and shit that went on. It was just fun and, like, interesting to be a part of. I, I, that's something I honestly really miss, is kind of having a... Like kind of like doing that stuff with people that you didn't really you didn't really care about them they weren't really your friends but it still forced that human contact and that bullshit and then through that you found like people you actually wanted to play with you found people that were funny and fucked up and hilarious and had the same sense of humor as you just because you were raiding together and they're all then like you'd, you'd slowly see especially if it's a new raiding group you'd slowly see like s people section off into their like little subsections of people and it was just it's just a funny way to see it it's, like, it's almost like a funny human experiment to get like 25 people together and make them raid and they all work together, but they still somehow section themselves off into like little groups of people, um, and they all like make jokes or laugh or like for instance, me and my buds would go and uh, sit in a different vent channel for like the trash like pulling and stuff like that and talk shit. And then when it was a boss, we'd switch back to the main channel and shit like that. And it was just it was just fucking fun and it was a good time. And I want to know if it's still a thing anywhere else. Even though I'm nearly 90% sure if I even go and do it, it's not going to be the same experience. Nostalgia is always better in your memory than, than it actually was. Because it's, gonna, it's always going to be like the first thing. You did it the first time. You're never going to recapture that moment. Unless you get something that's going to get nostalgic in the future. Like for instance, finding a new game or having a new experience. That then later on in your life, in the future, will become nostalgic. If you're actually being nostalgic with something in the past, then you're not going to actually... I don't think actually, you know, have or be able to get that kind of feeling back. It's not going to be a thing that's going to happen. There's, there's just no way that you can kind of catch that feeling. I I mean, I've talked about it in a video recently where it's like, I want to get a PS2 and play Ratchet and Clank because the game's awesome. And it's like, yeah, I will. I guarantee myself and you guys I'd enjoy the fuck out of the game, but there's no way I'm going to enjoy it as much as when I was a 10-year-old sitting in my fucking room for a week straight playing Ratchet and Clank, trying to get as much bolts as possible and finish the game multiple times because it's one of those games where you can, like, at the end, choose to re-roll. Um, and do the whole game again, but you get like bonuses and shit like that, and your guns do more damage, or the enemies are harder. Cause that, that stupid shit, like when you get to the end of the, end of the boss fight, just making it so it has multiple playthrough like potential. Um, and I, w I literally finished that game in one sitting, maybe five to six times. I would just sit, finish the entire game, re-roll, finish the entire game, re-roll, and I would just sit there and do that. Because I love that game so much. If I got if I got it today, I'd probably enjoy it, sure. But I'm not gonna sit there and re-roll like a fucking thousand times. And it has to do with the same thing as like back then, media wasn't as easily attainable. I guess like there's no I like back then that was the one game I had kind of thing. Or maybe I had one other game, or I had something that was just happened to be you know also available to me. But at the same time, it wasn't um. It wasn't as something that I was interested in, but it would have been one other game or maybe two other games if I was lucky or, you know, if it was Christmas or some shit. Uh, so it's kind of the only thing I had to play because I was so into video games and it was, I was so into just playing games. I would play that game multiple times and just finish it and get that shit done. Um, so it's, it's also like stuff like that that leads to so it's the same reason why, why Vanilla and WoW was so nostalgic to other people is because... The game was their first MMO for a lot of people. And if it wasn't the first MMO for people, it was the first one that hit off with a large amount of people. I don't want to say large like that. I fucking lost my shit and had a stroke just then. But a large amount of people played it. That's why a lot of people met a lot of friends. A lot of people got addicted. And they got addicted for the reasons... I, I think a lot of people think it's the game that gets them addicted, but it's not. It's the atmosphere. It's the people. It's the game. It's about, about being around people, playing with friends. If you play WoW by yourself and you love the game by yourself and you never interact with other people, then I honestly don't understand how you like this game as much as you do. Because for me, 90% of it was always human interaction and always that kind of stuff. And now, since I actually stopped kind of doing that and raiding, the only the main reason I get like WoW satisfaction is for making YouTube videos. And recording and putting them up because instead of having interaction on wow i get it on my youtube videos and by talking to you guys like this if i didn't do this if i didn't make youtube videos i would either start raiding or get into a raiding guild or do something i'd find people to pp with i'd get on skype and invent with them and talk with them all the time 
And if I didn't do that or YouTube, I probably wouldn't play WoW. Because to me, the main thing and the main reason I like WoW is that that fucking... I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, just, it's not even like friendship. It's not even like camaraderie. It's just it forces that human interaction that for some reason on an MMO setting is fun as fuck. And it's like interesting. There's no strings attacks. It's just like you just go in. You just get it done. It's fucking awesome. And uh, it's just something I really like about WoW. And something, honestly, I think WoW is starting to push away, which I don't think it should be doing. For instance, garrisons being phased out and you're only like have a building and now everyone's just sitting in their garrison and no one's fucking seeing each other anymore because they're just in their garrison doing their fucking shit and queuing for an instance that, that automatically builds itself and you don't have to even talk to anyone. You just get put in and your AFK is a fucking healer or a DPS and just get all your gear and then leave again back to your garrison and stand there. You just did like, like main game mechanics and got shit done. And when you did that, you didn't even speak to someone. Like, that That to me is completely not the MMO spirit and something I dislike and hope WoW does without soon. Because honestly, I dislike it a lot. But that's going to be a leveling video for today, guys. I talked about, about pretty much what I wanted to. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the topics I talked about in the description or the comments below. I don't know why I say description. I say it all the time. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day, have a good life, have a good year. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.